South Africa police stole jewelries worth 1.9 billion naira from a Nigerian national. We used to be the one they always accused that Nigeria are this, Nigeria are this, Nigerians are this, Nigerians are thieves, drug dealers and everything. South Africa police stole, not seize, stole, according to Sahara reporters, four South Africa police may arrested for stealing, not seized, stealing. 1.9 billion naira jewelries from Nigeria National. And then when you convert 1.9 billion naira to rands, let me do the conversion. 1.9 billion uh, naira to rands. To rand. Let me do the conversion, guys. That is about 20 million 420,000 rands. Stole. 20 million 420,000 rands worth of jewelry from a Nigerian national. And guys, you won't believe the comments under this post. You won't believe, guys, the comments under this post coming from South Africans. A South African lady said, The Nigerian must be investigated. The police merely confiscated jewelry that was already stolen or bought with money from drug dealer from drug deals or for one night scam. The South African said the Nigerians who their jewelry was stolen by a police, by four South African police, the Nigerians should be investigated. For whom to be investigated for having such amount of jewelry. The woman is not able talking about the South Africa police again. They said, after all, the Nigerian man must be a scammer or a drug dealer. So for owning a jewelry, I want you guys to understand the mentality of most South Africans when it comes to Nigeria. It is clear, it is crystal clear. Four South Africa police stole from Nigerian National, and a woman is telling the authority, you should investigate the Nigerians for having such jewelry. Because after all, the Nigerians are scammers and drug dealers. That is to say, every Nigerian eh, to South Africa is a scammer and drug, drug dealer. They do not care. Then, someone said, but it is Nigerians are the bad person. Could it be that they were embedded? Okay, I, I don't want to really go that deep. And this guy said, but how did the Nigerian have 1.9 billion worth of jewelry? Now, highest boss, even in Nigeria. Is asking that question. <laughs> Even a Nigerian is asking, how did the Nigeria have 1.9 billion worth of jewelry? Now, high boss. Then this guy said, South African blacks are natural criminals who love extorting from Nigeria businessmen. How there because they are jealous how Nigeria succeed so fast in their country and grow over a short period. Then a South African lady said, I am not hungry with them for taking the jewelry from the Nigeria criminals. I am hungry with them for not covering their tracks. <laughs> this South African person said, I am not hungry with them for taking the jewelries from the Nigerian criminals. I am hungry with them for not covering their tracks. Then a Nigerian man said, What in Nigeria they use 1.9 billion in jewelry do? Now politician. 
I want you guys to understand hmm? the main purpose of bringing this whole issue up. Eh? Take it seriously, guys. Take it seriously. Look at it both ways. Take it seriously. Do not just laugh about it. I want you to understand what you look like as a Nigerian. Even though you are wealthy, even though you are poor, even though you are, you are genuinely rich, even though you are a politician's son, which I see also criminals do, even though you are a doctor, even though you are a physician, even though you are an engineer, a rich one, even though you are an uh, astronaut, even no matter your field that makes you money as a Nigerian, eh, I want you to look yourself in the mirror and know exactly what you are called because you cannot even escape it. Before they even identify you to determine where you work, you are already a guilty criminal. Not a criminal, not an alleged, a guilty criminal. A guilty criminal. Even if you are maltreated, you are still a guilty criminal. Have you ever seen somebody who is something and someone stole from that person and they say, ah, okay, he stole from you, I'll be okay. But you, how did you come about having this thing? Have you ever imagined being in that kind of situation before? They start asking you, the victim, how did you amass having such thing? You are already tagged as a criminal. In South Africa here, we are not even talking abroad here, uh, uh, Europe. We are talking about our brothers here in South Africa. Already tagged you as a, uh, uh, as a uh, uh, okay, let me not use bad language. Already tagged you as a MF criminal. Why? What is what is our offense? Huh? What offense has Nigeria committed in South Africa? The only offense is enjoyment. The only offense in Nigeria I've committed in South Africa is too much enjoyment. It's been succeeding in such a short period of time. It's having a very good lucrative business in such a short period of time. Succeeding in the harsh economy. And they keep wondering, it's not possible for this man to be succeeding like this. Something, something must be going on. Your police stole. You left your four policemen. And you are asking the Nigerians, how come they are mass such amount of jewelry? And in Nigeria, also, it's even asking such stupid question. Nigerians saw that, that comment are asking, how come? They just leave the total, the main purpose of that headline, the main reason why <laughs> they reported it. Four South Africa policemen stole 1.9 billion worth of jewelry from a Nigerian national. They just left that. They focused on the Nigerian. A Nigerian even focused on the Nigerian. Asking a fellow Nigerian, how did they even amass that? amount of wealth. You just left the four criminal policemen and you start calling the Nigerians criminals. I've never seen such thing before. I've been saying though, but this is the height of it. It's okay for them to come from such questions to come from South Africa because we already know. But a Nigerian? Uh, a Nigerian asking such question? Uh, so you are telling me it's impossible for somebody to legitimately make it in life. Hmm? You are telling me it's impossible. What do you mean by legit? If I ask you now, is Elon Musk legit when it comes to business? You will say yes, right? If I ask you now, is Bill Gates, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, and so many of them, are they legit when it comes to business? You will say yes. You will give them a pass. 
you give them a pass mark. But do you know the dirty deals those people do? Do you know how they interfere in your own election? In your country? Do you know how much they infiltrate in your politics? You don't know, right? Do you know for their factory to work? Do you know how much bribery occur in, in Africa? So many minerals that move from here to their factories? Come on, man. You guys should know way more better. Nigerians are not criminals. Despite their criminals among us. Hmm? It's just 1%. We have a whole percent of uh, 100% population. Just comprising them. And just 1% are criminals. We can also say that they are South Africans. We can also say they are killers. They are harm robbers. They are destroyers. They don't like themselves. So many other stuff. But then again, we but then again we love your women. So we're gonna tolerate you guys, all those few women there, from making such comments in my Nigeria. And if you even check the women over there who are making such comments about Nigerians, are women who have dated Nigerians before, and they cannot just handle a Nigerian man, and they are bitter. So they just decide to tarnish all Nigeria men's name. Go and check. Any Nigeria you see, any, any South African woman you see speaking here of Nigerians, check her history of dating. You will see there are one or two Nigerian men she has encountered. And if you will check very well, she's the actual fault of them not being together. Why the men are just angry towards their laziness inability for them to walk so lazy so many other stuff as well well we are brothers and sisters as i've predicted one day a nigerian man will become the president of south africa it might not be now you might say oh god forbid not possible you love rice people okay watch and see it might not be our time but i hope i hope you witness it might be 100 years from now, 200 years from now, but a Nigerian man will be your president. One day, one day. Watch and see.